What's going on, guys? This is your motivation guy. That's right. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. So hyped for season three. You have no idea. OK, so after weeks of delays and pushbacks to chapter two, season three of Fortnite, we've finally been given what we've all been waiting for. Four. And with it comes a brand new battle pass, a completely wiped out arena point system and brand new leveling, which most of you watching this video are going to want to grind out. So with the new season, we have a new battle pass, of course. And with this new battle pass comes brand new skins, items and dances. So not everybody has the money to fully buy out the battle pass. So in this video, we've gathered all the secret tips and tricks that you can use to power level your XP and battle pass. We've seen many videos out there that just don't do a good job giving you guys specific ways of tearing up fast. So, you know, we gathered the best ways and have created this expert guide to teach you exactly how to do them. Are you guys ready for that? I hope you are. All right, guys, it's about that time. Ladies and gentlemen around the world, it's time to scream this out because I'm hype. It's time to sit back, relax and grab some of my favorite candy. Yeah, you better scream this out. Yeah, I'm talking to you. It's that bunch of crunch. Now it's time to get this going. Let's get it. All right, guys, so speaking of improving, because it's time to improve, one of the first and best ways that any of you can level up and get XP fast is by completing your battle pass challenges, right? Many people forget to do these, and this is where the majority of the XP lies. After completing the battle pass challenges just from day one of season three, you can expect to become around level 30, which is a massive jump to do in just one day. These battle pass challenges offer a variety of cool location-based missions that will reward you with heaps of XP and points. Let's get into some of them so we can just give you a breakdown of how to do them as fast as possible. Here we go. The first is damage loot sharks at Sweaty Sands. For this challenge, you're basically dropping at the new Sweaty Sands POI and doing damage to the sharks swimming around. These sharks can damage you and will jump in and out of the water, so be careful not to get eliminated by them. You could just use any weapon in your inventory, and once you've dealt 200 damage to these pesky little creatures, you will receive your XP reward for this challenge. All right, guys, so the next challenge is a bit harder and requires a bit more of critical thinking before you actually drop. For this challenge, you're going to need to deal damage within 10 seconds of dropping at the Whirlpool and the Hydro POI. This means the second you drop, you need to either find a weapon or pickaxe an opponent and just deal damage to earn the reward. The next five are really quite simple and really involve some basic map challenges. The first is to just enter the Caddy Corner Vault, which can be done by getting the key card and entering it. And the second is searching gnomes at Homely Hill, which will be scattered around the map. OK, so the third is dropping into rickety rig and just looting chests and ammo boxes in this location. Once you've opened up seven of them, you should just receive the reward. The fourth is possibly the simplest one in this set, and that is to land in Misty Meadows and then finish out top 25 in your game. You don't have to stay at the location or anything. You just need to land here and just camo it out until you reach the top 25 threshold, all right? And then for the fifth and final one, you need to get three eliminations at Steamy Stacks, which may be a little hard for some of you. So be sure to check out some of our W key tutorials so you can just learn the best good and best tricks for fighting and dominating opponents. Also, if you want to learn how to play exactly like the pros, such as Furious and Faceway, you guys got to check out ProGuys.com, where we have the best coaches in the world, hands down. Sign up for our membership today and get exclusive access to master courses by top players like Benji and Mongrel, as well as pro one-on-one -on -one coaching. Head on over to ProGuys' website and just be sure to sign up and start improving rapidly today. Okay guys, now battle pass challenges are good and it's gonna give you tons of XP, but they eventually run out and all you can do is just wait for the next wave of challenges. Meaning that after you've completed all of them, there's really not much else you can do. Daily challenges, on the other hand, will come day by day and some of them actually carry over from the previous season if you haven't completed them already. Daily challenges provide a great amount of XP per challenge completed, right? And you can do them every single day as they refresh and recharge. So you gotta keep in mind that if you don't complete a daily challenge is going to carry over and a new one will not be given so we suggest prioritizing these so that you don't lose a free challenge with loads of xp behind it so daily challengers can be different types of missions ranging from dealing damage with a specific weapon to landing in opoi and getting an elimination or three Based on the difficulty, you're going to be given a certain amount of XP per type of daily challenge. But once again, make sure that you're doing all of them every day so that the new ones refresh and come in the next day. All right. So completing these daily challenges will make a huge difference in the long term as these challenges are going to help stack up and turn into a ton of XP in the long run. But of course, guys, you know, there's more besides daily challenges. There's also the daily metal punch card. 
Okay, so the Daily Metal Punch card is similar to Daily Challenges where it's gonna refresh and allow you to regain a new surplus of XP every day. But where it differs is that its challenges remain the same every day. The point of it being in the game is to really get players to get on and just play the game as they normally would, but to really emphasize in game performance and just doing gimmicky challenges. The Metal Punch card rewards things like survival time, eliminations, damage dealt, first game played, and more types of in-game accomplishments. Signing on every day and just playing the game to the best of your ability is going to max out your Metal Punch card, resulting in you receiving heaps of XP. So the Punch card also comes in different levels, so that means you could do the challenges you know, to a more advanced extent, which will in turn earn you even more XP. For example, if a challenge on the Punch card says to get top 50 and you complete it, there's going to be an opportunity to even earn even more XP by getting, let's say, top 10. Okay, so be sure to log on every day and perform the best of your ability to earn these XP points, guys. By now, we've gone over all the challenges, base XP boosters, but there's actually even more ways that you can just boost your XP. For every game that you play in Fortnite, you're earning XP by doing things in game, right? Doing simple things such as opening chests and ammo crates will earn you XP. But there's some key points that you should keep in mind in order to maximize your points earned per game. So the first is that you can earn points for doing just about anything in game. Things as simple as just surviving and earning minutes survived in games will get you points. But there's also things more complex such as getting eliminations, you know, reviving teammates and opening chests and ammo crates. The two main XP boosters are eliminations and survival time, all right? Eliminations are quite simple to explain and, you know, everyone really understands. For every kill you get, you earn a certain amount of XP. Survival time, on the other hand, is much more complex, but it can also earn you the most XP out of everything else in the game. The more you survive, I mean, the more closer you get to the end game, right? The more XP you're going to earn. You could even get 10 kills per game where you end up getting the victory royale, but their survival time points will actually outnumber the elimination XP points significantly. Crazy. Fortnite is, after all, you know, a battle royale game which has its focus on being the last man standing, so it makes sense while staying alive and getting closer to the win is going to reward you way more. Okay, so what we recommend doing is trying to get as close to first place as possible every game. If you're a player who wants to grind out XP points, now of course this could get boring since the majority of your games, you're gonna probably be hiding and avoiding players. So we do have an alternative for those of you that don't wanna do this. Instead of just playing normal pubs or arena matches, hop into a few games of Team Rumble. Fortnite's Team Rumble gives you opportunities to respawn and get back into the game, so your survival time will essentially be high every game, and you won't have to worry about getting eliminated since you can just respawn if you do. You know, on top of that, you can focus more on getting eliminations and just racking up XP that way, while the respawn system goes ahead and stacks up survival time points for you. Doing all of your challenges and just focusing on your survival time per game is going to result in faster XP gain possible. We also suggest guys purchasing the battle pass as this is actually going to give you a 2x multiplier for all the XP you gain. Also look for double XP weekends and other special events which are also going to boost your level and ranking. Okay, so now that we've gone over all the different ways to level up and rank up your battle pass and player tiers, let's take a quick look at the battle pass and see all the things that you're going to be earning in game. Here we go. So the new Chapter 2 Season 3 Battle Pass features two entry-level skins, as all the other Battle Passes do. These two skins are the Ocean and Fade skin. Moving down the Battle Pass, we have some new emotes, back blings, pickaxes, loading screens, free V-Bucks, and so much more. An interesting thing to note is that, you know, a lot of the items from this season are actually customizable, meaning that you can just tune and just change them to your own personal liking. Okay, so coming in and a variety of different styles, colors, and options, a lot of new customizable player options, and a nice twist to this season, you know, really make your character your own little creation. Now, let's move into some of the most notable features of the new Battle Pass. Here we go. In this season, there is a brand new umbrella that seems bland, but when looking at it off the battle pass, it can actually be customized throughout the entire season to become special just for you. You can select your own options and styles to make it something that you like, something that only you have. So the next cool thing in the battle pass is the new Honest Scuba Diver skin known as Scuba Jonasy. This skin comes in three different styles as well. Moving even further down the battle pass to tier 80, we have Siona skin, which had three styles. And then at the long anticipated tier 100, we have two new skins, the first being the Eternal Knight, which has some season two vibes, and the second being a cool cloaked purple, black, and silver skin. 
Both of these can be customized and changed into two different styles. And just like all seasons, these tier 100 skins are pretty cool and different from the rest of the skins in the battle pass. And they have some sort of significance to the Fortnite story as well. So to recap some of the major points in this video, make sure that you guys complete all of your daily battle pass and metal punch card challenges as well as the weekly battle pass challenges. These are going to give you guys tons of XP and it's going to rack up levels over time, all right? Once you've completed all the challenges, go ahead and play games with lots of focus on survival time and doing in-game things such as reviving teammates, opening chests and ammo crates, and just about anything that earns extra XP. And if you rather play for eliminations rather than survival time, all right, well, run some Team Rubble matches. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me on my Insta at your motivation guy. Come on now, it's a brand new season. Let's get it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We really hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you thought and you know what you'd like to see next because we strive to bring you guys daily quality content. So do us a favor, my friends, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and show proguys.com some love by using code proguys in the item shop.